All right, Stephen Portnoy at the White House for us. Stephen, thank you very much. And the dangerous heat wave in the Northeast is finally expected to break this week. It's felt a little cooler here in New York. It certainly <laughs> has. A lot more refreshing out there. Meteorologist Jen Carfogno with our partners at the Weather Channel has the forecast. Hi, Jen. And good day to you, Tanya and Elaine. I know you've been sweating it out. I have some good news. We are going to see the temperatures finally drop off. Now, after days of temps in the upper 90s, Boston, we had a string of six days in a row of this. This was yesterday. Now look what happens. We bring in the rain, and we're going to cool down the temperatures. But we do get rain, and that is the tough part of this, um, I guess, just because of the challenges that come with that. Although with the drought that's been setting in across a lot of parts of the Northeast and Southern New England, it's not such a bad thing. The problem comes when it's too much rain at once. And from West Virginia to, to Kentucky into even western parts of Virginia, we do have that risk of thunderstorms bringing in the heavy rainfall. There's also the chance that we may see some storms getting a little feisty out there with some strong damaging winds coming out of them. And we'll watch these thunderstorms off and on as we get through the afternoon, through the overnight, still continuing actually even into tomorrow morning. The front does take its time to get all the way through, but I can promise you some better and drier weather and cooler weather does come in. In fact, look your temperatures tomorrow. 79 degrees in Boston will be only 85 degrees in New York City. So you do lose a bit there on the thermometer. And by Friday, the numbers come down even more. Maybe more importantly, the dew points come down and we feel that dryness in the air. A little taste of fall coming in as we get into the weekend in a big way, actually diving all the way down into the deep south. A little break from the summer heat and humidity. Remember, you can watch the Weather Channel on cable and now live on your favorite TV streaming device. Tanya and Elaine, I'll send it back to you. Jen Carfagno, Jen, thank you. Well, gas prices are finally dropping. We'll show you how much cheaper a summer road trip is now compared to several months ago. Plus, takeaways from Tuesday night's primaries. How Trump-backed candidates fared in several states following the warrant search at the former president's Florida home. You're streaming CBS News.